Listen to Bridges, welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today we're going over our top 10 favorite Kenner Alien action figures, at least the ones we own. Which we have quite a few of them, so we, we have enough to make a good list. Excluding these guys. <laughs> this is a Kenner, dude. You can't. Uh, he would not be on my top 10 anyways. But we're going to go with the classic line, which is the Aliens and the Alien 97 Kenner. Figures. Classic, man. Moving on to number 10. <laughs> Actually, beforehand... What we're excluding is the Resurrection Aliens, because nobody likes those. <laughs> and also, key emissions would be the Scorpion Alien, because we don't own that one. Although, yeah. I never was that big of a fan of that figure, personally. Because its gimmick was that it could explode. Yeah. So, the parts were easy to lose. It was a frustrating figure. Even though it was actually looked better than most of the other ones in terms of looking closer to the movies. But it was just a frustrating figure to have to deal with, especially as a kid, so I was never a big fan of it, personally. And the Queen playset will also not be on this list, because it's not really fair to compare a playset to just normal action figures. Because if we were compared to that, that would definitely be number one. Yeah, it's like, it's the biggest and coolest, flashiest thing, so of course it'll be number one. So, we're not concluding on this list either. But then if you take the Queen off the playset, then it's just, she is not that cool. Yeah, so it's, it's a, it's, it has a slight advantage over some of these figures, just because of how massive it is. But for number 10, we have the Bull Alien. <laughs> What's his gimmick, Steve? All right, so what he can do is he has a lever on the side of his body, which is what this does. And when you push it out, bam, he does headbutts. He also has a lever sitting here on his back so he can rear his head, which is super, super cool. Might do some pictures in these just to show you guys a little bit of a close-up of these figures. Yeah. But for the most part, this is as far as we're getting close to it. reason why this guy's number 10 is he's kind of cool, but when you sit him on your shelf... That's all he does. He's all, he's just going to be looking down all the time, which is slightly boring. If you tuck his head in, he looks a little bit better. But he's honestly just a really obscure-looking alien, for me yeah. anyways. Like, it's cool that they took, like, a radical design, like a bull, and tossed it into an alien form. I do like the color on it, though. I'll say that right now. And the color is really pretty. It's pretty cool that he still has the spines protruding out of his back. Hands look pretty gnarly on this guy. But just, like, the positioning on him and his overall size. Like, especially being a bull, you think he'd be a lot larger. And compared to some of the other figures on this list, just doesn't impress me as much. Number nine, we have the rhino alien. Which is literally the exact same thing as a bull alien. <laughs> but he's number nine because he comes with a facehugger. So he's winning. Positive? Yes, which actually is a huge positive because getting these little face huggers as a kid, especially when we had the humans, they could attach on their faces, and it was awesome, and you got to enjoy playing your aliens like they were in the movie. So what's his gimmick? Uh, Let's see this one. Literally the exact same. You push the lever on the side of his body, which is hard to see because of the translucent plastic, which is another thing I like about this one over the yeah. other version. But head stick shoots out. You use the lever on his back. Like his head forward and back. So literally the exact same figure, just a different mold. But I just kind of enjoy the mold a little bit more on this guy. Even though he, if you have him fully set up, he's literally just munching on the grass. Yeah. Just moving along on the field. I do like his massive legs in the back, though. It makes him look a little bit more unique than a bull one. Yeah, that, and if you wanted to, you can actually, like, stand him up. Yeah. So he poses pretty well on the shelf, which actually grabbing the bull alien just to show you guys the same thing. Get him out. It uh doesn't work quite as well. <laughs> yeah, see the difference? Yeah, so I always like the bullet or the rhino alien a little bit more than this guy. Hey, don't forget the face hogger. <laughs> Number eight, probably one of the most obscure figures from the collection. Definitely for sure. The crab alien. <laughs> Which what I'm... this one actually did is its gimmick. You just see these little faces on the front of its stomach when you push them down. Don't lose those missiles, Steve. They shoot Hey, up. he got it. <laughs> Woo. That's also the one sucky thing is his claws get in the freaking way, but getting his little missiles out. What kind of sucked too about it is if you lost the missiles, you just got to stare at that the entire time. Yeah. So you need the missiles with them in order to actually display them. Steve, where'd the missile go? Um, <laughs> Somewhere under my desk. No. <laughs> but he's really cool. Like with his tail, he has like a little pincer around the end. He has his crab claws kind of hanging out from his normal arms. And then you got his two more insectile back legs, which is really awesome. I always thought he looked weird. Yeah, it's a strange looking guy. And it's also kind of weird that he's very enclosed. 
because his tail wraps around, so he doesn't take up a lot of shell space, which I guess yeah. is a positive. That's why he's eight. Yeah, but then again, it's like if you lose stuff on him, he loses a lot of display value. Which is also why it's number eight. That's a number seven. We have the Panther Alien. Which, the thing I really loved about this guy is he reminds me a lot of the dog alien from Alien 3. Yeah. But he's got a little bit more of a slim, sleeker profile, and I love the dome on this guy. Chrome dome. Chrome dome. Looks really cool. It's also translucent plastic, so you can still kind of see a little bit of the inner workings of the skull and stuff. And he has a sweet gimmick where he pulls his front legs forward. Once you attend, insert the missile, anyways. <laughs> pull his legs forward. And they shoot! Whee! And what's cool too is this little thing is like a flying alien. <laughs> it's got wings, it's got a little mouth on the front of it. It's actually really sweet. Which I'll actually have to do a closer picture of that guy so you can actually yeah. see him. Because it's a lot more detailed than it looks. Yeah. So I always just really enjoyed this figure, especially as a kid. Another cool thing is the one I actually have. I have a black version, it's like a Black Panther. Mine's missing the missile, though, sadly. Because, again, it's the ones that I've owned, I've actually had since I was a kid, so stuff, some stuff's randomly missing. Like, I used to have the crab alien, but this is stuff ended up in the garage sale. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys can see that some of the alien figures actually can be slightly different depending on which yeah. version you buy. Which we actually seen the one place where we were picking up these had this one, too, so maybe I'll just go pick up this one. Because I actually kind of like the black version, too. But it is nice to see the actual translucent dome on this guy, though. Yeah, so, I like the difference, though. Yeah, it's nice having them both on your shelf. All right, so number six. We have, well, in the package, the Queen Face Hugger. Which, I really love this thing because it's, like, the biggest face hugger you could have got when you were a kid. So, I always really loved it. But, setting this one aside. I got an open one. Yeah, Ernest actually has an open one, even though it's seen a lot of play. So, the tail's like, Wee! <laughs> Sadly, I can't pull the thing back in. I'm disappointed. Yeah, and the gimmick kind of for the little arms isn't really locking in either. Because what it would do is you could have it hanging from something, and then it could grab the Colonial Marines or Ripley. Yeah. Which is really cool. And then if you put the, just the lever, the little mini mouth on the inside would come out, and then you pull back on the one, so you kind of have a working a tangent. So that was always really cool. Because I actually did the gimmick like you see on normal aliens. And it's just a stupid huge face hugger. Even though it's the queen, it was like the one I could run around with and sort of pretend that it's an actual face hugger. Yeah, it's so, huge. So, I always really love this one overall. Now we're getting to the good ones. Yes, number five, we have the Gorilla Alien. Which is one of the more screen accurate looking aliens in my opinion. Granted, there's some slight differences. But overall, it had like the right stature. Yeah. Like it stood upright, even though it has ginormous arms and the weird little hand on its tail. Which I always thought was pretty neat. And it had a couple of gimmicks where if you pull on the spines here, he could grab his enemies, which is really cool. Also, you'll notice, also came with a face hugger. So again, bonus, because these things were amazing. And then you had a gimmick, if you stuck him in water, which I can't do on the table because I really don't want to get my room messy, yeah. which if we do a review, I'll do it then. But he could suck in the water into his head, and then you could spray other enemies like it was acid, which was Pretty really much cool. squirt gun. Yep. So, this guy had so much play value when I was a kid. Like, he always ended up in the bathtub for reasons. He was named my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God that one's mine. It's not Steve, so it's okay. Or is it? Uh, I touched it. <laughs> Number four, I only have in the package. But it is the Queen Alien. Yeah, we're not going to open it. I'm sorry. Yeah, this one's mine. If I end up randomly getting a loose one, that'd be a different story. Actually, it has a scorpion alien right on the back of the packaging there. Yeah. So you guys can see what we're talking about for the one. But I always really love this figure because other than the queen playset, this is the only other queen that looks kind of like it did in the film. Except the extra arms. Yes, this one actually has six arms compared to the queen only having the four. And you can turn around and show the gimmick, so this way... Yeah, which, if you guys didn't know... What it did is it had a little air sac on the under section of its dome, so he squeezed it, the mini mouth would protrude out. So yeah. jettison out. That was always really cool and it was a fun little gimmick. That and if you rotated her, she could tail smack. So she had a lot of play value too, especially with the the Colonial Marines. And also what was cool is she looked really good next to the power loader if you had the power loader, which sadly we don't have a 
We're working on it. I am in process, actually, of getting it. It should be here in about a week or yeah. so. Plus, it also comes with the Queen Chest Burster, which you don't really get to see too often. Oh, sweet, it does. I didn't even notice that. Yep, so if you get it in the package, it has the Queen Chest Burster. No comics, sadly, but that that I never really cared for those, to be honest. Yeah, anyway, so. it's like I have a couple of them at home, and I didn't even actually look at them. The ones that came with, like, the rhino and stuff like that yeah what's also cool is on the back it tells you like how many people are in the colonies and stuff too like destruct point low flame tolerance like it tells you the weaknesses and yeah. stuff oh that's actually really cool this little card up here tells you some stats all right moving on to the nitty gritty number three this was hard because three two and one are pretty much interchangeable yeah but what we're going with is the mantis alien which i really love this figure because one it's an insect yeah. Looks really cool. It's very original. Also, has some translucent plastic, uh, especially on the lower face, so it has a really nice shine to it. Also, has the same gimmick that the Gorilla Alien had, so when you squeeze the spines on the back, its arms move out, so it could kind of pincer, I guess. <laughs> this is the one we're looking forward to, to uh, NECA, to remake. Yeah, it's also kind of how this list is fitting is these are like the order i would love to see them actually put out the figures yeah but these guys being really high will be like my most sought after ones then again though i would much rather see them put out like the rhino alien over another queen but in terms of figures those are the ones like i enjoyed most as a kid but still so. overall this guy is freaking amazing oh yeah like i loved it the only thing i can maybe wish the dome was maybe a little bit bigger on this guy a little more impressive because overall, it kind of has, like, his face kind of hangs off to the front a lot. Best hands. Number three, people. And maybe some wings. Wings would have been sweet, too. Like oh, yeah. number two. So number two, we have the Flying Queen. <laughs> 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 oh, man. This figure had so much play when I was a kid. The thing is amazing. Yes, it's got translucent plastic, so it looks super pretty. That's a flying gimmick. <laughs> Which is really awesome. Really love the dome on here where it actually has some veins inside of the dome. Which I never understood that though. Like It looks cool, don't get me wrong. It's just like, why? Yeah, it looks like blood vessels, but they're actually red, not green yeah. or anything. So it looks a little more human, which actually makes this a little bit scarier looking. It also has the talons on the bottom of its feet, which the one talons actually could shoot forward. While the other one are meant for actually like ripping other fingers. Yeah. So, it, again, has a lot of play. This guy has fought Godzilla quite a few times in my <laughs> growing up. Because this thing was just always really impressive. It's just super fun to have this thing just flying around. Because even when you're pushing the button, your arm by itself is going to move up and down, so it makes the motions. <laughs> this thing is massive and amazing. Yeah, it's actually one of the largest Kenner figures that isn't outside of the play sets. I do enjoy the little tiny arms in front, though. Yeah, it's, it's adorable. It's like it kind of might be cool to maybe see the littler arms on yeah. it, just like you see on the queen. But then again, that would just made it a lot more confusing. So I'm glad they went with the design choices. And Neca, make this a thing. It's also gonna be stupid expensive, but I don't care. We'll still buy it, sadly. All right, so number one, you guys could probably guess because it's the figure you guys haven't seen yet, and it's actually what people are requesting on Super. It'll probably be the first Kenner Alien figure we do outside of the playset, because we already put the playset out after doing this video. Yeah. Well, what we have here is the Cobra Alien. Number one, my personal favorite growing up as a kid. Our personal favorite, sir. Thank you very much. Sorry, sorry. I just, I, I'm, I'm greedy. <laughs> he is selfish and greedy bastard. You True. Know. I'm okay with it. Well, what was really cool about the Snake Alien, again, just like you see a trend with some of these later ones, translucent plastic. Really awesome looking. Gives it a nice eerie vibe to it. And it's just a giant freaking cobra. Even has a bendy tail, so you can pose it however you want. So you can have it constricting other soldiers, other aliens, whatever figure you're going to have it fighting. Dome looks pretty cool. Even has a gimmick where the lower jaw can come out. So it can bite other people too. Which is a cool part. Yeah, it might have been cool if maybe the little mini mouth kind of jettisoned out too. But I'm not really complaining because the gimmick's actually pretty fun on this guy as well. It was overall, it's a very aesthetically awesome looking alien figure. Definitely. Toss mine up here, Steve. Yeah, Ardus has one too, but his is actually slightly different shade. It still has some translucent plastic, but it's not quite as vibrant. It looks green too. Yeah, same with the dome is a little bit of a different shade too, so I'm assuming this is just like a different version. But then again, your dome feels like, mine feels thick, yours 
does not quite as much. Yeah. But then again, your dome actually is transparent, while well, mine, yeah, on the back like, section, it doesn't show up very well. You can see through at the bottom, the green, and like definitely green, while yours is what color? Uh, mine's like copper. Yeah. Which is overall, is not bad. No, it's cool. Again, you see some variety with the toy line, so you get some options depending on which alien figure you want. Yeah, I'm gonna, I never noticed that actually moves out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you. So what's supposed to happen is you put the fan out, it starts lifting up. Yeah. Oh, oh I guess that mini mop does kind of stick out a little bit. Look at that. I not really paid too much attention to that. Hey, Steve, how's it going, buddy? Pretty good. How you doing? Super fan. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> So these guys are definitely my personal favorites, and then just grabbing a, you can see how big the queen is compared next to it, which I think still actually is a pretty impressively sized figure overall with a giant tail. And then we also have, get this guy too, just so you guys can see a little bit of a size comparison between each of these guys, just for our top three anyways. But that is our Kenner Alien Top 10 list. Is there any figures you think that should have made it onto the list? Please let us know in the comment section below, or if you guys had a different order. Where do you go, again, Steve? Where do you go? Let's go. Where'd he go? No, sorry. Steve. Steve. You're not Where'd seeing him. I'm shoving him farther away as of right now. He's got to be on his list, man. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, become a ranger today, and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.